Now let's talk about some more things we can do with when expressions. Let's first create a value that we want to switch on to change execution behavior. So I'll just call this one x and set it to 10. Now first of all we're going to create a when expression as we've seen so far. I'm not actually going to save the value of the expression anywhere, but it would return something if we wanted to. So what we've seen so far is that we can put a value on the left hand side, then use an arrow and just specify anything that should be done in that case on the right hand side. In this case let's just print out x is 5. Now what we can also do for example is we can write something like 3 times 12 and just print out x is 3 times 12. And more generally we can put any function calls on the left hand side here and we're going to talk about functions later in the course. So similarly we could also write something like hey there dot length which is going to be 9 and just print out x is the length of the string hey there. And one of the most useful things probably is that we can also specify ranges on the left hand side. So for instance we could create a range from 1 to 10 by typing 1 and then 2 dots and then 10. And what we want to do is we want to check if x is in 1 to 10. So we can write that condition like this. And in that case let's just print out x is between 1 and 10. So if you want to check if x is between 1 and 10 or some other range you could basically just go on like x between 11 and 20, print something, or x between 21 to 30, and do something here, and so on. And what we can also do is we can also say that x is supposed to not be in some range. And we can do that by using the same kind of writing but putting an exclamation mark before that, which in programming basically means not. So we could say something like not x in 1 to 9 and then we can print x is not between 1 to 9. Alright so let's go ahead and test this. Can you guess what this is gonna print? Well in this case it's gonna print x is between 1 and 10 because the length here is 9, this is 36 and this is 5 so x is between 1 and 10. And again note that it doesn't just go on after the first case uh, is true. It just stops and it doesn't go and check if x is not in 1 to 10 which would also be true so it doesn't print this. This is not the case in some other programming languages where you have this switch case statement and you have to specify a break after each case. You don't have to do that in Kotlin, it's just implicit and it also makes our code much safer. Because we don't have to remember to put a break statement in each case. Now just to try this out a bit more we can also set it to 9 which would be the length of the string hey there and in that case it's also going to print that. So again I encourage you to play around with the ranges especially and um, when expressions, if expressions. And thank you for following along this course. I hope you're enjoying it and if you have any questions let me know in the discussions.